Beckham. It's in. Well, Tottenham don't like it, but Manchester United love it. It's genius, and it's a fantastic strike. Solskjaer back for Giggs, well he lets it run for Beckham, oh, beautiful goal. Here's Sandro, lines up the shots, oh Sandro! Hello. <laughs> New thing, you recovered, paintball. <laughs> yeah, but it's actually really good, I yeah. looked in the mirror this morning, all gone. Looked in the mirror, how can you see your back in the mirror? In the mirror. Alright, all, all gone. 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 Oh, mine has scabbed up. Scabbed up and itchy. Peeled it off. Oh, mine. No, mine's one still week, there. One week today, the paintball in, no evidence anymore. Mine's still there. So Mum's back from holiday at the weekend, so she 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 was a bit distraught over the video. But... <laughs> Alright, so today's video. Big game. Massive. Massive Spurs. game. It's the pick of the weekend for us. Yeah, Spurs against United. Spurs are at home, 4.30 kickoff. Who would have said it? Like five years ago, who would have thought, yeah, Man U Spurs. Big table clash. All right, it's always been a big game for, for the two teams. It always has yeah. for the two fans. But in terms of the table and what it can mean uh, for point-wise, like it's, they've, Man U have always been superior club. Yeah. So Spurs have always been sort of down in fifth or sixth, haven't they? But they're obviously doing yeah, it's, a lot better than a United this season. Massive game. If Spurs win, they're in the title race still. So it's massive, massive, massive game. game yeah. So what we are going to do today is we picked some of our favourite goals from this clash, so from Spurs against United Some or United against Spurs. bangers as well. Yeah. Some, um, from like amazing players. Yeah, so, like you forget some of the great <laughs> players that have played over the years. We've picked four of the best, two United, two Spurs, and we're gonna recreate them. I'm gonna try. We'll try, we'll try. <laughs> Let us know if we missed any of the goals, any iconic goals that you can think of in this yeah. fixture that we missed, that we didn't choose, or, what you thought of the goals we did recreate, whether we did it well, badly, uh, excellently, <laughs> uh, I supreme. Say, I would suggest. Yeah. So we hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. Oh, that should have been the outro. What? That bit. We can always put it in. That should have been the outro. Right? That's no, like, yeah, we can always put it in. Yeah. No one's watching it in the end, though. No. <laughs> Just gonna cut off. What's up guys? So, doing a voiceover for this first goal, um, it's because we didn't put the mic on. So, we do have it for the rest of the video, it's just this first goal that I'm recreating. So what I'm trying to tell you, if obviously you can't hear, is my first goal that I chose with David Beckham. It's such an iconic goal for Bex, great technique, uh, whips it across, cross goal, hits the inside of the post. I'm going to leave it to you, so can you tell me what year this goal was scored? It's a very memorable year for Manchester United's history. They went on to do something crazy that's never been done before. Uh, yeah, hopefully enjoy. We didn't want to record it again because you know what comes next. Just watching it back, you can tell like good first touch, get out of my feet, I was happy uh, and I slipped as a shot and kind of my shoulder fell out of place, that's what I'm kind of trying to tell you on the camera. My shoulder is real sore uh, but I was just so happy, it's obviously fine top ins, I was aiming for the post like Bex and I, I got quite close, I was shocked as I said, uh, had no warm up prior to it, my first shot in the morning uh, and it was on target. Okay, goal number two. It's a Tottenham goal now, so over to the other side. Jermaine Genus, now doing a bit of punditry for BT. He's all right, isn't he? I like it. Yeah, that. he talked really well. He has good insight. He's obviously been around the game for a long time. Yeah, very honest. So, um, so yeah, Jermaine Genus, good free kick. Very central, close to the box. He just basically lifts it over the wall, goes top corner. Keeper doesn't even dive. Goes in the top corner. What more can you say? It's a good area, actually. Practice some free kicks with Xhaka for Rebel in training a couple weeks ago, just before Wembley Cup. So. A little bit more in the middle, you know? So more of a line. Yeah. yeah. Well done, yeah. Thank you. Well done. So, yeah. Shouldn't take too many attempts. What are we saying? Within five, I'd say. Over the poles. The poles are about our height. So what, five foot two? Um, five foot seven, I think the poles are. 170 centimeters. 
Let's go. Free kick time. No. You don't even spot in the ball. Don't need to, it's already been spotted. Give me that for a first go. The grip. Feels like it's, oh, I'm almost too close for this technique. Yeah, I know. He was just thinking about getting it over yeah. the wall. Bit coasty, yeah, I'll be coasty. Bit coasty, yeah, I'll be coasty. What are we saying? What are we saying? I don't know. <laughs> he went top corner. I, I think in the game, if you look at Genius's run up, he looks so casual, right? So when he steps up, all he's thinking is get over the wall. Make the keeper make a great save, put get it on target. The way to do it when you're really close, you can't put power on yeah, it. Yeah, so can't it's it. gonna look floaty. Floaty, it will look a bit floaty. So yeah, good effort, top bins. Top bin needs. Rate it, rate it in the comments. Alright, uh, rate it. One to what? 100. Ten, obviously. Uh, nah. One Always. to ten. Alright, right, goal number top. three. You good? Yeah. Bex. Okay, second goal that I've picked out, again, David Beckham. What I like about this move is Ryan Giggs, he picks the ball up deep and he plays a penetrative pass right through the line of Spurs. Uh, I think he finds Paul Scholes, forgive me if I'm wrong. Scholes in him, gets his head up, finds Bex on the edge of the box, about a 5, 10 yard pass. Bex, one touch, opened out again, just like the first goal, uh, and straight into the top corner. Typical David Beckham, again, the technique, really just clean as anything and that's what we're looking for here obviously the pitch doesn't help but let's get to it I take a top bins obviously Touch weren't great, it didn't set me up, but this one, I got this one. Oh. Yeah. oh, that was it. Just hit the bit behind, that's where the GoPro is sitting. The touch again, one touch, just one touch. And then the second one is a shot, so. It looked really good and I was happy with the contact. Great strike. Still finding that. Hello. That was set, man. Ah. One thing, I didn't get the arm movement like Bex did, but it sure fell on the top bench. <laughs> Few attempts, very tricky when the ball's getting played in on a tough on a tough surface, it's bubbling up. So trying to get the first touch right was the main thing here for me. Once I got that right, it then gives me an opportunity to, to get a shot on target. You did it three in the top corner though, and you hit the post twice. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of good ones. Um, tough shot. You can't get shot. there, yeah, yeah. It's a tough shot. All right, last one. Incoming. This one, mad, mad thing. All right, last goal. So complete the set. We had two from you, two from Bex. Two from Bex. What a player he was when he was good. Just watching those highlights, man. <laughs> when, the way his technique like whips it in. A lot of the when we were doing some research for this, a lot of the Man United goals that came from crosses, just like no right to deliver the ball on a plate like he does. And, and I just... think with, with Man U back then, they were so positive. Everything mm. they did like went forward. Bex always looking forward, looking yeah. to get crosses in gigs. Just always penetrating, yeah. like that's what they've missed. So yeah, tell us which goal you picked out for your for your second one. Another, he was kind of a fan favourite, old Sandro. <laughs> he was crazy. I remember clips going around, viral clips of him doing karate kicks in the changing room, 
all sorts. He was just mental, and he was he was a decent player. He was all right. It was back in the day when Spurs were okay. Uh, he was more of a workhorse, yeah. Right, in the midfield, and he got the fans on on his side exactly quite early. So, um, but this, I mean, he runs straight down the middle of the pitch, cuts inside, and he's going across the across the face of the goal and just absolutely laces it, and it goes out to in. So into out into that top right hand corner up there. Yeah, he's not known for his goals, no more no. for his tackling and good cards. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> everyone scores once in a while. Exactly. Let's see how you get on. Not very good. Not very good. Mad, this is mad. You ready? Where are you going to step in? I'm going to go up quite high. Uh, you're not in shot, so like, yeah. if you want to bring it all forward. Now. Is that, are you, oh my. <laughs> Sandro, is he known for his goals? Don't. I am, I'm oh, known for my goals. He's decent. <laughs> I are think you he's happy right. that? I'm, what? You can't do that better. I mean, it could go a little more top corner, what? but. The whole idea is trying to recreate a goal and yeah. you recreate it. That's what happens when you don't think about it and just let the feet do It was like me with the first one. Yeah. Just, to be fair, before that shot, he was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Like. Running with the ball as well, the ball's on the move, bobbling. he's running, he's bo oh, yeah. bobbling over here. Happy days. Home time. <laughs>